This video is a quick overview of the mechanism of evolution by natural selection. If you don't know these terms, pause the video and review them before you go on. Before natural selection can occur, two criteria must be met. First, the population must already have variation in one or more heritable traits. Examples of heritable traits are size, color, and certain behaviors. For example, a mouse that only comes out at night might have a survival advantage if the local predators are out during the day. This picture shows a population of mice that show variation in color. The second criterion is that there must be some sort of selective pressure. In a perfect world with no predators and unlimited food and mates, all individuals can survive and reproduce, so no selection is necessary. However, few animals live in such a perfect world. Most have to compete for food and mates and or find ways to avoid being eaten. If this hawk flew over the mice on this white background, which mice would be the least likely to get eaten? Most variation comes about when random mutations occur in DNA. This can happen when DNA replicates. When mutations happen as egg and sperm cells are formed, they can be passed on to the offspring. The best way to understand how natural selection works is to use an example. Here is a population of black mice who live in a granite quarry. Notice how the mice show up quite well against the gray rock. The selective pressure in our example is predators, coyotes who love tasty mice. In addition to selective pressure, we need to have variation in the population. Let's imagine that a mutation results in a less pigmented mouse being born. Notice how this gray mouse blends in quite well to the gray rock. Let's see what happens as the coyotes start to eat the mice. The black mice are easier to spot, so they get eaten and the well-camouflaged gray mouse survives. Now the survivors get to reproduce. For simplicity, let's assume that each survivor has just two babies, and let's not worry about the genetics for now. Uh-oh, here come those pesky predators. Again, the black mice are more likely to get eaten since they show up better. We say that the gray mice have a selective advantage, or that they are better adapted to this environment. Again, the survivors reproduce. Let's watch two more generations of this process. It would most likely take more than four generations, but over time the population will become predominantly or entirely gray. Of course this example is simplified because in nature many forces are at work simultaneously as species evolve.